Hi, welcome to the Calculus 2 lecture series. And uh, this lecture will be our last lecture for the unit number two. In the unit number two, we talk about the different techniques of uh, integration. So in this video, we're going to talk about the improper integrals. So we're going to introduce two kinds of the improper integrals. And uh, then the, how do we take the integration for the if we deal with the improper integrals here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to our lecture notes here. So here, let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing is here, let's uh, start to define the, what is the, you know, the concept here. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about two things. The first thing is here, we're going to take a look uh, the definition of the type one and uh, type two improper integrals. Okay, so the same time we're going to talk about the convergence versus uh, divergence. Okay, so the next things here we're going to take a look at how can I use a comparison test for the improper integral. Okay, so now in here we have uh, two, uh, so we have uh, two types of the integrations so we, the, of the prop, improper integrals here. So the, let's take a look at what is, uh, how do we define the type ones, okay? So type one integration, that means uh, your integration boundaries, one of the boundaries going to have uh, uh, infinity. So we have a three different situations. So you can have like uh, you integrate from A to infinities, right? F of X dx. So for this ones here, you have infinity on the top and then you have another one here, you could have the infinity on the lower bound. So it's negative infinity to B. So this is F of X DX. Then the third one here could be, you have infinity on the both end. So it's negative infinity to positive infinity to the DX here, right? So in here, that's why we say the type one is your uh, integration boundary involved uh, infinities here. So the way we do this is just, uh, so this is the typical way we do is like we say it's a limit. You can to the T go to infinity. So you can do just what we did before for the definite integrals. So your up bound, you change it to a T. Then after you integrate, you just let the T approach to infinity. Right, so that this is the dx here, okay? So then the, for this ones here is the same thing. You will say the limit of t approach to the uh, negative infinities, right? So you can say infinity, negative infinity, then you will have like the t to the b. This is f of dx. So for this situations here, and then, you can break this one. You can say you can break this is from the negative infinity to any constants, right? F of x, dx, and then plus any constants here to the infinity F of x, dx here. Of course, then in here you can use like the, you know, the above two definitions, try to do that. So one of the common mistakes that people make is that they will, they will write like this. They will say, oh, this is a limit T approach to infinity. Then in here, they will say, this is a negative T to T F of X DX here. So no, this is not. So this is the very, very common mistakes that people 
make here. So this is not the correct weights here, right? So that's why you need to break that out. And then you do the different T for first one, different T for the second ones here. So let's take a look at what type of it. So for example, like uh, this is an example, if I want you to find a one to infinity, e to the negative x dx. Right, so this is a typical because your up boundary is infinity. And then for these ones here, I can say, hey, how about uh, this is a negative infinity to zero sine x, right? So sine x, then the, you have the negative infinity here. Now, after you substitute with t, then you can see limit exists or not. So like for this ones here, you can say, I want to find the infinity, negative infinity to the positive infinity. Now, for example, you have, this is a two x, one plus x squared, okay, to the two dx here, right? So then you can break it at any points in between there. All right, so the type two is here. Type two sometimes is a little bit, uh, you know, sometimes people will make the mistakes here. So type two, let's take a look at the first ones here. So like uh, this is a situation A, B, your upper bound and the lower bound is not infinity. So it's F of X dx. But, you know, the in here, so the conditions here is like, uh, let me write in here, and then I will show you what I mean here. So this is a T approach to A from the right-hand side, the T to the B, and uh, F of X dx. Okay, so what is this situation? That means, uh, you know, for these ones here, we are dealing with the situations, right? So F is a continuous. So F is a continuous on the A and the B, right? So as you see, I have a parenthesis on the A, right? So that means F is continuous in this interval, but F is not continuous at a is here, all right? So now let's take a look at these examples here. So for example, I want to integrate a zero one and the x to the negative two third dx, right? So for this integration, this function is a continuous everywhere from zero to one, but when the x equal to zero here, you know, it's not defined, right? So I know this one is not equal to zero, you know, cannot be equal to zero. So that means your interval is from zero to one. So that's why when you do this integration, you will say the limit, right? So you will approach to t to one, and the x two third, negative two third dx. So what is your t's here? t approach to zero from where? From the right hand side, right? So let's is be very careful. That means if you do like this, so you one end of the interval is not continuous. Okay, so then the same things here. Let's see here if a, b, f of x dx. So I can say this is the limit t approach to b from the left hand side. So this is a to the t f of x here. So this is the same thing will tell you f is what? Now the f is continuous on the a and the b. My b is parenthesis, so it's not a continuous. And the b is right. So f is continuous here, but not a continuous not continuous at where? So it's not continuous at B, right? So for these situations, that's why when you try to write the limit, so let's see what is examples here. So for example, this is from zero to one again. I have this function one minus X dx, right? So when X equal to zero is defined, but when X equal to one is not defined, right? So that's why when you try to do this limit, integration, you will say limit t approach to one, but from which side? From the left-hand side, right? 
then you will have the zero to t, and then this is one, one minus x dx here. All right, so be careful so here. That means you have open side here, so that's why you know you integrate from the left hand side. Remember, right? So this is the your a b's, right? So if this continues here, then you need to approach from this side here. All right, so the last ones here. Okay, so the last one, this is the one a lot of people did not see before. So if in here, this is a b f of x dx, right? So if you do have a, a point here, so you can break into a true integration. So if this is the ac f of x dx plus cb f of x dx here, right? So now you, there is exist, there exist a point here, C, right? So what is this point mean? So that means F is a continuous, F is a continuous on the what? On the A, C, and uh, continues on the C, B. So it's kind of like a combination, right? So it's kind of like a combination of the first two. So in here, see here, so it's here and here. So if they exist a point in between this uh, interval A and the B, right? So this point is a discontinuous point, correct? So C is a discontinuous point. Right, this continuous point here. So let's take a look at what type of examples here. So this will be the example negative one to one. So let's take a look at this is x negative two third dx. Frequently, the common mistake, people just say, oh, this is a power rule. I use the power rule is uh, n plus one. So I will say this is like the one plus negative two third. So this is one third x one third. Then you substitute the negative one to one. So this is a big what a big no no here. The reason why is a big no no is because for this functions here, right? So from negative one to one, this function is not defined at zero. Correct. So this function is not defined as zero. So you cannot just integrate that because uh, you know it has to be defined everywhere and continuous everywhere inside your integration region. So like for this one, then you really need to just set a negative one to negative one to zero x negative two third dx plus zero to one x negative two third dx, right? So you need to break it, break it to the point where it's not a continuous here, right? So it's a zero, zero. So this is super, super important, right? So a lot of students, when they see that, they did not consider, then they just immediately take the integration and then they end up with the wrong answers here. Okay, so now let's take a look what type of the integrations here we have. Okay, so for the first ones here, this is like one of them is a half of what? The infinity. So we know this is a what? This is the type one improper, correct? Okay, so now like a part B, this is zero one, one over square root of X. So I know the X is not defined at where x is not defined at zero, right? So it's discontinuous at zero. So what type of the integration I have? I have a type of what? I have a type two integration, improper integration. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look. Uh, this one here, this is infinity to infinity, right? So the, you can rewrite this is infinity to infinity, and then this is one over e x squared dx. And the reason why I want to make sure I don't have you know undefined the points here. So obviously everywhere is defined. So I don't need to worry to break it, right? So what type of the integration? This is type one, right? Okay, so now for this one here. This is from the negative two to two, 
right? So negative two to two everywhere is uh, continuous except when the what? When the x is equal to one. So what happened when the x is equal to one? When x equal to one is undefined. Right, so this one is uh, what type of the improper integration? This is uh, type two. So when you do this, you have to break it. So you said the negative two to one, then this one's here is x minus one to the square dx, then plus one to two, right? So then this is x minus one to the squares, right? So you will have to, break it at the point is discontinuous. So it become the first two cases of the type two. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. This one is interested. First, uh, you see this one, oh, sorry. So the this one's here. Okay, so for this one's here, right? So this function is not defined at here, right? So this is not defined, not continuous not defined uh, at x equal to one. And uh, then you take a look at this one have uh, infinities here. So this type of the integrations, so this one's here really is uh, what? So this one's include both. So you can be both. So this will be both type one and type two. Right, so the way you do this integration, you will say here maybe this is a t and a, this is s, right? So then you will have a one one minus x dx here, right? So in this one's here, and then the, after you do that, or whatever you find the limits here, so then you need to do is uh, you know, you need to let the limit s approach to infinity, then also then you need to let the t approach to one, right? So approach to one from what side? From the right-hand side, right? So you need to have two limits here. So this is when we include both the positive and the negatives here, okay? So now let's, uh, uh, let's take a look, uh, you know, couple problems, uh, uh, I guess that uh, right now probably, okay, so right now let's uh, uh, we identify the type one, type two, uh, different uh, improper integrals here. So i like to stop these videos here. So the next video, we're going to take a look at how do we do the integrations here, all right? So remember, right? So the type one and the type two, how did you approach it? And uh, so the most, uh, the one with common mistake is this one here. Frequently people will just integrate and forgot to check the discontinuity point, all right? All right, so that's it. Let's stop here for this video and we're going to finish the practice. The problems here we have uh, from our next video here. All right, nice talk to you and I'll talk to you in our next video and let's try and let's get ready to do some improper integrations here. Okay, bye. Talk to you later.